Hello, my name is Rio. Welcome to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. Last episode, we managed to beat Annapolis 2-1, and now the Amateur League is on a couple month long break here before we get into the next game. As you can see, we can't even see the next game we have. It, it's over here. It's against Lincoln. The second round of the Liberty Cup. Well, second leg of the qualifying round of the Liberty Cup. And if you remember, we beat Lincoln 7-2 in our first matchup, so we're feeling pretty good about our chances for moving on. But there's a big thing that's going to be happening in this episode. We are going to be saying goodbye to one of our players. So, age-wise, for Football Tactics and Glory, I've been told that it's advisable to sell players before they turn 34, because otherwise, you're not going to be able to sell them at all. Now, our entire starting lineup is fine at the moment. The oldest is Edge at 32. But we've got three players on the bench here who are 33. We've got Saunders, we've got Huggins, and we've got Pack. Now, Huggins and Pack don't turn 34 until July. For those of you who are American, they go day, month, year in this one. So Pack is going to stick around for a little while, since we're not near July yet. And neither are we near June, so Huggins is okay as well. However, Saunders turns 34 in November. November 7th. And for those who... And well, we're in August right now. Well, we're in August right now, but our next game is going to be in September. And we've got some cup games in October as well. That would have gone there. But I think... I think we're going to make the decision that the Lincoln game is going to be Saunders' last game with Manchester. We're going to sell him after our upcoming game. He's only played in one match so far. He's not a very important player on the team. We've got better defenders on the bench, but it's still our first ever player who's going to be sold from the team. And I'm sure there's going to be some mixed feelings on Saunders' part, but I think it's time for us to move on, maybe give him a chance to play on another team. Although, I don't think we can track that in the game. But that's enough rambling. We're going to sim forward. We got a little way. So contracts. Oh, before we get in there, the transfer window will be closing. Oh, never mind. We're not. Saunders has played his last game. I was planning on subbing him in during the Lincoln game, but we're not going to be able to sell him in there. So we have to sell Saunders today. We are glad that you are one of our Manchester players, Saunders. We'll join Lincoln. Oh, man. We're going to do it, though. We have sold Saunders to Lincoln FC for 10,000 gold, which means we'll be playing Saunders in there. Now, the contract situation, we've still got seven months on Doss and Scruggs' contract and Huggins and Pack, although Huggins and Pack might be sold by the point that we get there. So we're mainly focusing on these two. Can we extend DOS now? We could extend DOS now. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna extend DOS for three years right now for 878, which means we're still good on the money front. He's been extended. DOS is gonna stick around for a little while longer. And I think that's what we're gonna do for right now. And we're gonna move forward to the second leg of the Liberty Cup. Top one transfer, uh, they're showing there. Saunders has transferred from Manchester to Lincoln. And a bunch of expensive ones at the top. La Serena. Huh. That's a different league. So, today is the second match. We know that. We won the first match 7-2. to two, So, it would take a shellacking that we'd never expect coming for us not to move on. So... If we want, we can really put some players out there with the experience. But there it is, Saunders. You're going to be going up against O'Donnell on the edge. 
there. And we're all good on energy, so... I think we'll be getting in on this. Actually... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do... We'll do that. Now, last time, Schofield was a problem. He scored twice against us. But this time, we're hoping the rolls will go our way. So here we go. Second leg. Manchester versus Lincoln. Saunders return game against us. And here we go. O'Keefe. Okay. Gotta pass to Calvert first. We're gonna try and get off to a good start here. As we usually do with Calvert breaking in. And... We've got the precision shot, power shot, dribble. I haven't really tried dribbling. So I'm gonna take the chance to go... Calvert! Come on! I expected better from you. So, not the best start. Not like last time. And Blaylock takes it there. He's got terrible control, so... But... He does... Do that. So we're gonna move O'Keefe up. And then O'Keefe is going to press. Now, I haven't been taking advantage of this, but he... When O'Keefe and Edge presses, it doesn't use up an action. So I should have been using this before, and just haven't been. So Calvert's going to take it, and Calvert is not going to go for the shot. <laughs> He's going to hold, and we'll try and make sure no one takes it. That was closer than we'd like. Calvert! Now Calvert was injured in our last game. Very minor injury, but still worrisome. Now, we're going to... Bring O'Keefe up for this, and we'll move Olsen and O'Donnell in. And we're just going to try and pass it past to Olsen. And Olsen will just go for the shot, and Olsen scores the first goal of the game. We're taking... And we don't really need to worry about energy, because our next game after this is the next round of the cup. I'm looking forward to seeing who we're going to be facing. Hodges saves the shot from Schofield. And they're bringing in Blaylock there. Okay. We don't have Tompkins in, so Dickinson will go in back. Scherer will go there because he can intercept even if Schofield keeps position. And Scruggs will help out will help out in the back. So, there we go. And Scherer isn't able to take position, but Dickinson is able to force it away. Now, Scherer intercepts the pass, which was actually a really bad pass on Blaylock's part. And he goes for the tackle, and foul again, and an injury. Oh, no. Okay, it's another one-day injury, thankfully. So Scherer is going to be coming out for Tompkins. And Tompkins... We're going to adjust the line of bit. Stevenson can't really take advantage of the wing as well, so Tompkins is going to stand in front, and Doss will be in front of Schofield. I think that's looking good. But that is unfortunate. Not, not what we're looking for. We're going to do a lot of pass towards O'Keefe. He's going to take it. And O'Keefe is just going to control for this. That way. And Blaylock's motivated. And he goes for the aggressive tackle and succeeds. I was kind of expecting that to go poorly for him. And then we'd have an opportunity. I'm not liking the positioning here. But Tompkins is going to move up. We can press with... O'Keefe without losing the action, and then Tompkins goes in for the tackle, and foul! This is quite a chippy game so far. Oh, are we positioning first? We're positioning first. So O'Keefe will go there. Uh, we'll also bring over Roman, and... And Tompkins can stand there. I guess I guess that's what we'll go with. Not an ideal 
position. Not sure. Okay, Schofield and Stevenson move in, and they pass straight to Tompkins, thankfully. But will they be able to take it from Tompkins? They don't even try. Uh, pass to Roman, who has been very inactive recently. Okay. Can you pass to Edge? No. So we're just going to pass over towards Calvert. And Calvert's going to go there. This isn't as bad as our league game against Lincoln, but I did expect us to come out with a little more fire here. The fouls have really caused us to lose time. So Calvert could pass over there, or we can move Calvert into position for another break-in. If we do this, We've still got an action left, and we don't lose, don't use up as much energy. So, and we're not trying that dribbling stuff again. Calvert is having a really poor game there, but I'm loving that control. The control is good enough that I think Calvert is going to be moving into the box along with Olsen for our cross here. Uh, we gotta have our motivated player in on this. So we go for the shot. Olsen loses position. But Calvert keeps it. And the pass it was a very poor pass on Edge's part. So we had the opportunity and it just didn't go well. And I don't know what that was, but Blaylock kicked it over to O'Keefe right here. And O'Keefe is going to pass to Calvert, and we're going to use his last turn of motivation to try this long shot, and he scores! Calvert had a hat trick in the last cup match, and gets a goal here. Let's see what they do on offense with our new defensive setup. Schofield is backing up and goes for the shot, which is blocked off by Scruggs, but goes straight to Stevenson. So Tompkins is going to go for the slide tackle, and it's not successful. And we're just going to do a regular tackle. And then... And then Tompkins is going to hold. I don't, I don't want to try to get it all the way there, and I don't think they're going to be able to take it away. Oh, Stevenson's motivated, though. He's got another chance, and he manages to take it with one action left right in front of goal. Hodges, you're a last taupe! And he saves it. Good job by Hodges to protect that goal off of what apparently was not one of my better managerial decisions. So, let's take a look. O'Keefe is getting a little tired. So is Tompkins, so is Calvert. Calvert can be substituted out for Pack. After that, uh, Gibbons. Gibbons can come come in for Tompkins, and that oh that would leave that leaves us with zero substitutions. Can I undo that? I want to undo that. I don't think I could. Okay, I can. Good. So Tompkins will stay in. So we have one substitution in case of injury or red card. Now let's start the second half. We're up 2-0. Feeling pretty good about this. And Stevenson's still motivated. And he goes past Tompkins. Has one move left and goes for the shot, but Scruggs... Scruggs is having a much better game than last time. So Doss passes over to Edge. Edge. He's gonna do a... Layoff pass to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell is going to do a long power shot and score! So that's a goal for Olsen, O'Donnell, and Calvert. Spreading, spreading the love around. And Tompkins is not letting up... <laughs> Not letting him pass this time. And the pass to O'Keefe. And O'Keefe. 
I'm, I'm really want that second goal with O'Keefe. So O'Keefe is gonna go up and hold for right now. And then next turn we can try and go in and score with him. If he was able to keep the ball, but Atwood takes it away. So O'Keefe gonna move up and go for the aggressive tackle, taking away. And O'Keefe is then gonna pass to Pack, who's got very good control and is able to keep it away from Brothers. And I'm assuming Atwood will try now and foul him, predictably. So, who's our highest accuracy player? I guess that's O'Keefe. And then we bring Olsen and O'Donnell in. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a power shot with O'Keefe, and that already is not successful. But it goes straight to Pack, and Pack will then just hold it for right now. And they're bringing up... Oh, Saunders. Saunders is going to get the chance with the slide tackle. He's been very quiet, and he manages to take it away. We, we gave them a solid player here. Solid player. Saunders moves up to there. And Saunders has decent control. We'll move up with O'Keefe. And O'Keefe's going to go for the tackle and succeed. And then he's going to pass to Pack because O'Keefe's getting a little low on energy. We don't want to risk injury. But Saunders is going to go for the slide tackle again and succeed. Pack's motivated wants that ball back. He wants a goal. Every every other striker's gotten it so far. And Stevenson takes, takes the ball there. And we're not going slide tackle. I did, we didn't have much of a chance of it working. Tompkins passes to Pack. And Pack is going to try the pass unsuccessfully to Olsen. Saunders passes to Blaylock. Blaylock passing over to Schofield. Come on. There we go. Scruggs moving back into the space. And he tries to get it past Doss. And that's not happening. Doss takes it. Passes to Roman. Roman passes to O'Donnell. And we're looking for one last goal. One more goal. But Saunders has di different ideas. He goes and he manages to take it away. Saunders is, I, I think, is their better man of the match. Has done a really good job keeping the ball away from our players. But we've got one more shot. O'Donnell, if you're able to take this, he manages to take it, and he has a chance for one last shot. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. And that ends the match. Three to nothing. Manchester beats Lincoln for an aggregate score of ten to two. We'll be moving on. Their best player is our former defender, Saunders. And gotta love all that experience. Scruggs, Doss, Roman, Calvert, all of them level up. And our men of the match, O'Keefe, Tompkins, and Calvert. And we're getting getting close with Scruggs to an upgrade. Same with Calvert and O'Donnell and Roman is still plodding his way towards becoming an actual class. Right. Victory is ours. 10-2 aggregate. Calvert leads the Liberty Cup in goals. And let's take a look at these messages. Share is recovered, and we've advanced to the next round. We will play against San Jose FC. Oh man, that's not gonna be an easy game. San Jose. Let's take a look at this team. That is an intimidating, intimidating front there. I, well, we had a good qualifying round, but the round of 32, I don't think it's going to be going quite our way. But we'll see on October 10th.
we've got a lot of time to rest up before that match. We'll take a look at how San Jose is doing. San Jose is a second league club with a 3-1-5 record, ninth overall in the league. And let's look through the rest of there. So we know this deal with the Amateur League, Conquer and Montpelier and us. Third league, Birmingham, 8-0-1. Looking pretty good there. Hartford is also doing quite well, despite not being as high quality as, say, Little Rock. And then Des Moines, and the ones who are looking like they're gonna drop are Montgomery, Billings, and Fargo. Although Augusta is right down there with them. Second league, Oklahoma City, Las Vegas, and Memphis are looking to move up with Jacksonville not that far off. And looking to move down, Newark, Louisville, and Boise. First league, you got Kansas City, Milwaukee, and Charlotte who are looking like they're gonna go up to the Premier League, but Nashville is Actually, yeah, Nashville is right there with them. And then down at the bottom, we've got Columbus, New Orleans, and San, o San Antonio. In the Premier League, New York City is up on top with Los Angeles, Dallas, and St. Louis in the next few spots with Miami, Minneapolis, and Boston, of all teams, at the bottom of the league. So we'll keep a monitor on that as it goes. So fairly action-packed episode. We sold Saunders and then beat the team we sold him to, 3 to nothing, to move on in the cup and learn that we're playing a team two leagues higher than us. But we're Manchester, we're going to give them a good showing even if it doesn't necessarily go our way. I hope you enjoyed the episode and you stick around for more content when we move on to the round of 32. Have a great day, and happy gaming.